Hey, what up, guys? It's a uh, video going here. Um, it's good with Drag Along. I got a lot, of, a lot of announcements and stuff I want to talk about this uh, week. Uh, any reviews? So, without further ado, because I won't waste any time, let me get into it. My first comic review is because I last week and I have comics from last week and, and this week. Is that why I didn't review it last week? So, let me. My first one is uh, Supergirl, issue thirty-five. Uh, she basically just meets the. Uh, it takes off where. Uh, and with Superman and the, the Doomsday, the Doom storyline, what she's doing afterwards, and she runs in with Jason Todd, the Red Hood. So it's kind of interesting what happens. Uh, second one is um, is a uh, Harley Quinn issue 11. Uh, Power Girl falls from the sky somehow. I don't remember the issue. I thought there was gonna be a little more action in this, but it's really just them going shopping together. So is that? But uh. Uh, my third one for the comics is um, the one shot of Super uh, Super Street Crisis Wars with Cow and Chicken. This is really up to the cartoon, just weird and, and disgusting looking and just totally weird out there uh, cartoon. And same thing as, as the Cow and Chicken comic. That's your thing, go for it. Kind of creeps me out or weird me out. Um, the second two I'm going to review at the same time because they connect kind of. Kind of uh, I've had. I've had uh, this year I'm gonna hold to my left my hand for a while. I got this other one on Amazon because it's hard to find in comic shop. But that is uh, so I had Madness one that issue one for a while, and I and I had to get a uh, Wonderland annual 2012. Now these basically just go together, uh, leading to the Wonderland series ongoing right now. Uh, I gotta catch up. I gotta read the rest of the issues of the Madness and Wonderland and see what happens. But it's I don't know what's gonna happen. It seems like there's gonna be a whole another story. Maybe a female Mad Hatter. And the one line just kind of wraps up, you know, what happened with Alice, not Matt, Alice, uh, uh, Callis, Callie, uh, was her name, uh, Alice's daughter. Then what happens with her and her daughter? That seems like it was a takeoff. So that's curious to see what happens. I look forward to reading No One Land. Uh, okay, the first, and this is all my Amazon shipment in this next one. Like, first Amazon shipment I had was a uh, Teen Titans, um, you know, volume was a six, a uh, like 12, whatever, Teen Builder. It just, on um, with a teen story, Italian story. Uh, the Damien Robin <laughs> joins the team for a little while, and it's just kind of interesting to see how he fits in, because he didn't fit in that well. I thought that was funny, and just, that's a good good read if you're big the Damien Robin and Teen Titans. Uh, for my my other ones, my manga picks I got on the Amazon shipment. I got Orange Hero Two. It's basically just left off, you know, what the other Orange Volume was. Her dad found out about her taco side, how she, how they deal with that, and they, we just finally meet her popular friends. So that's kind of interesting. But if, I'm, I might continue reading. I'll summarize the series how I feel about it. Come like if I keep reading it five five. Uh, second one, and I visual him with that. I appreciate you. The second one I'm currently, you know, almost done read. Cyber Police Volume Five. Uh, it just really talks about the main characters, you know, father, kind of his backstory and a couple other stuff that happened. Uh, Natsua. I'm not, I'm not saying anything wrong. I'm gonna kind of hurt about her father and that stuff, and see more of his side. So that's kind of interesting. The other one I got is uh, Enchanter Nine, which is I haven't read it yet. These other ones I I'm gonna review, talk about I haven't read it yet, but it's really uh, you know, again they got these off on Amazon, They're very cheap. Uh, it, just, it seems like it's gonna just wrap up the series because issue ten is the last one of volume ten, and it just kind of wraps up where the story is gonna take off. So look forward to reading that. Uh, other one is uh, like I had it back in Ohio, and I just uh, because I'm a god in this volume two, I read the first one when I was back in living in Ohio for a while, and it's probably just I don't know. I gotta see what goes in. It goes into more depth in the story and stuff they do. It's only three, three volume a series, so I'll probably pick the last one if I really like this one. Summarize my thoughts on that. But come for that. God bless Amazon. Uh, this other one, again, they got Amazon off cheap shipment. <laughs> Is uh, Sundome now? I remember when Sundome first came out, it was really big, it had like mixed reviews. I, I really can't tell you much from Sundome, I'd have to read it and then uh, maybe talk more about it. But I really look forward to seeing what it's about because this looks really interesting the whole concept behind it. So, um, when I get more information about it, if I get volume two, I'll discuss more about that. But again, look forward to reading it too. And my last one for my comics among the material, and again, this one off Amazon is um. Exo Saga, 
uh, volume 16. This is like a holiday issue because they're in Santa Claus uniforms. It's like two Santa Claus, which I'm blue and red. Uh, you guys think you got the funny little Minchi on the back has some stuff in the back to eat him. Probably just takes, you know, get more wacky adventures, you know, see what happens. And this is a 29 series, so I've already been this for a while. So I just, you know, I'm, I'll be more to come to that, see what happens with them. But all right, that's it for my reading materials. Um, before I, you know, because I don't drag too long because I'm reading the five minute mark. Uh, next week, you know, it's Halloween, whatever. Uh, so that'll be something. I have, normal comic store has a big comic sale, so I'll probably do that and read more of that if I get done with doing more of those. But besides that, I'm gonna be going to OniCon, my first my first convention ever. OniCon on Saturday, and I might I might uh, probably have a follow up video about that too, especially on the special for that coming. Uh, but yeah, I'll be going to my first uh, con, OniCon. Uh, only Saturday, November 1st, so see what happens. Second thing I want to read, and I had to write down. Uh, oh, before I do that, let me, uh, because uh, I said I would review this. I, 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 I had a Sharia Kangaroo on a Jerry for the Vita, and I, I would just do a quick, like, you know, review of it. I, I like it really much a lot. It's really, you know, it is a hack and slash it. If you like Dynasty War fighting games, it's similar to like that, you know, that's kind of itchy, and it's just, if you want to just find each other into the clothes to cut off and shooting guns, swords, and knives, and punching each other. It's pretty good if you're into that thing. I approve. But it's just a quick recap. I really liked it. Um, game, I like gameplay solid. If you're into that Dynasty Warrior Hack Sykes theme, if it's North Star stuff, you know, that seems popular. Because they're the Hyrule's doing it, so is uh, Dragon Quest Command Age. But it's very similar like that, and I like it. I might be pacing myself because I'm trying to finish. Um, but yeah, I really like that uh, game for the Vita, so. That's your thing, you know, pick it up. If you like ninjas, you know, etchy and uh, hack and slash fighters, you like that. But I think I'm real, besides, besides like KC tying up last night with that seven runs, that, that was pretty cool. Tied up the series and World Series. Uh, I'm talking about TV shows right now. Now, I had to make a list, make sure I'm not leaving anything else. Right now, I'm currently watching The Flash, Supernatural, Family Guy Simpsons, uh, American Dad. Um, Constantine, uh, The Walking Dead, The Goldbergs, and uh, yeah, and that's the that's what I mean. Uh, Flash is pretty good, you know, lives up to. Uh, uh, Constantine starts tomorrow. Uh, I do it in my next follow up video, how I have to feel about it. I feel Flash is doing justice to the series too far. I really don't watch the Arrow because it's not my cup of tea. Supernatural is still doing good. It's, spoiler, it's neat to see how Dean is being possessed. I don't want to talk about the third episode. The premiere this week so much, but it's, it's kind of interesting to see how these are kind of being possessed by a demon. Uh, I'm still reading Fairy Tale anime, you know, that's kind of cool. It's a whole nice discussion. Uh, Simpsons, Family Guy, you already know. Um, same thing with American Day. American Day has, they premiere on, on Fox Sunday nights, but it's also you can catch it on Monday to read one new series. Uh, that's that's what they were doing for a while on, a, on Adult Swim with Family Guy and American Day, so that's kind of cool. But, um, you know, Goldberg is just comedy. So that's pretty much it for uh, TV I'm watching. On Walking Dead, just, you know, they just kind of shocked by this. There's more fine zombies. See what's going to happen, you know, what they're going to run into. But, um, you know, who is Gabriel? <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it for this week. I hope I didn't talk too long and you can understand me because I was really trying to speed up. So with a nine minute coming off, you know, I'm just go back to cleaning and playing my game. So I'm still in school and. Peace out, guys. You guys take care. This is Vigo for signing off.